Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out Bedtime Story? Well, you're in for a treat tonight. Because tonight's story is called Squish, Squash, Squeeze by Tracy Caldroy and Jane Chapman. Once upon a time, Mouse's new house had shady trees and a roof like a witch's hat. It had creaky steps and flower pots and pegs for muddy boots. Oh, cried Mouse as he marched on in. It's just right. Mouse quickly shooed the cobwebs away. And look, a piano, he smiled. He jumped right up and down and started to play. Plink, plunk, plink, plunk, plink, plunk. But all of a sudden, a big brown bear burst out. I'm a scary bear in a scary house, and there's no room here, not even for a mouse. Mouse folded his arms. You don't scare me, Mr. Grumble Pants. There's plenty of room, so no more stuff and nonsense. And with that, Mouse started to unpack his books. Bear, you can help too, he said. Mouse skipped up his just right stairs all the way to the bathroom. But when he peeped round the door, snap! A crocodile was crammed in the bath. I'm a scary croc in a scary house, and there's no room here, not even for a mouse. Mouse shook his head. There's plenty of room, Mr. Snippy Snap, he said. Now, my plant needs a drink, so please turn on the tap. And no more stuff and nonsense. Bit by bit, Mouse squeezed all his things into the tiny house. Only two more boxes, he said, trotting through the hall. But before he could unpack them, he heard a huge whoosh. And a tiger came whizzing down the banister. I'm a scary eek, the tiger squealed as he flew off the end. And crash. Now look what you've done, grumbled Bear. There's no room to be untidy, snapped Crocodile. I just went too fast, Tiger sighed. Sorry. It was quite a mess. Right, said Mouse. No more stuff and nonsense. Let's all tidy up. Then we can have some tea. And with a wiggle and a jiggle and a squish, squash, squeeze, there was just enough room for the four of them. Budge up a bit, bear, Tiger tutted. Move your tail, Tiger, grumbled Bear. I need the loo, squeaked Crocodile. Let me through. And just then, there was a strange rumble underneath the floor. Oh my, cried Mouse. What was that? It sounded like something big, gulped Bear. And scary, gasped Tiger. Rumble thump, rumble thump. It's coming nearer, Crocodile cried, his teeth chattering. The noise grew rumble and thumblier until the teacups jumped in their saucers. It sounds like it's in the house, Tiger trembled. What if it wants to live here too? There was only one thing for it. Mouse stood tall and called in his biggest, bravest voice. I'm a scary mouse in a scary house and there's no... Ah! Down, 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 tumbled Mouse through a giant hole in the floor. He landed, bump, and looked around. Oopsie, said the little mole, blinking at the rumpus he had caused. I must have dug a bit too much. And now I've made this great big hole under your house. I'm so sorry. But Mouse started to smile. (laughs) 
Stuff and nonsense, he said. It's just what we need. And with a wiggle and a jiggle, this time there really was plenty of room for everyone. The end of Squish, Squash, Squeeze by Tracy Caldroy and Jane Chapman. Here on the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world.